What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and today I'm doing some different experiments with pinning um, top fruiting technique. So I often do uh, my piapinis and my chestnut mushrooms this way, and recently some beach mushrooms, and I've tried to do it a few times with the black pearl king oysters, but it tends to get really clumpy, and I prefer a nice even X on those to kind of spread out those fruiting bodies so they're easier to package. But um, one of my thoughts on fruiting chestnut mushrooms and piapini is how to induce that really nice even pin set and I thought that maybe the air current as you know our fans are pulling um, the air over the bag could be affected um, depending on the slice of the cut um, the height of the cut and I've got a few bags that I've been experimenting with. So this first set here is um, a piapini that I had just cut the bag off about four and a half inches from the surface of the substrate. Um, so you can see that it's forming a pretty nice pin set along the perimeter where it's kind of covered by the bag. So this normally I um, you know snip off two sides and you can see that over here where I induce pinning by leaving the middle of the bag and then I kind of slice the corners off and you can see here there's a lot more even pin set um, and this is my typical method for um, pinning piapini so then if I come over here um, this one I just left it you know completely shut and then I opened it up for the video so you can see there's a really dense pin set but a lot of um, different size mushrooms and some really lanky deformed ones but also some you know really nice nice uh, meaty piapini too so my next thought is um, I'm going to take uh, my shears and kind of slice a few different incisions straight down and that might help to even up the airflow coming off the surface and hopefully we get some really nice pin sets that way but um, either way you know I get pretty much the same yield I'm just looking for really consistent sized mushrooms so it creates more uniformity um, and then you get you know more consistent flushes Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you like our content. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. And um, comment below if you have any more ideas on pinning with piapini mushrooms or any top fruiting for that matter. Um, I'm really interested in this subject and it's one of my favorite ways to extend the life of your mycelium. I usually get two or three flushes that way. Um, and I'll keep you updated on this newer technique. All right guys, much love.